Today I've got a video covering one of the most requested topics in comments from many of my other Warzone settings videos, and that is the ADV or Advanced Options Ini file. This is a small but very powerful file that you can edit a couple of lines of and actually see meaningful performance increase in Warzone, assuming that it's set wrong in the first place. However, I've seen so many other videos of people covering this topic with very little proof behind what they're saying. They're just saying, put in some numbers, it will work. And most of them are wrong. Today, I've actually got benchmarks against the important settings within this file, as well as some of the settings that you just shouldn't change. And if people are telling you to change them, you need to ignore them. Okay, so first of all, let me show you where you find this file, because a lot of you guys might not even know really what I'm talking about. So this is a file which you can find if you go into your file explorer. Uh, it is within your documents folder, and then a folder called Call of Duty Modern Warfare, then Players. And then within here, you've got a bunch of different files, including ADV underscore options. So what we need to do is open up this file. Uh, if you double click it and it doesn't just work, then you can come down here, search for notepad. You know, all computers come with notepad, assuming you're on Windows, and then just click and drag the ADV options onto it and it will open up. So let's start off with probably the most important saying in here. It's the saying that's gonna actually gain you the most benefit by you potentially changing it. And that's renderer work account. Now. Honestly, the definition of what this setting is actually doing is a little bit iffy. Um, it's unsure whether it's the amount of cores it's using in your CPU or if it's the amount of threads. If you want to check this and see how many cores or threads you've got, all you need to do is head to your task manager and then within your task manager, go to performance, click on CPU, and then you'll see cores and logical processors. Cores is the number of cores you've got, obviously, and, and the logical processors is the number of threads. So I've got an eight core, 16 thread uh, i7 12700K. In terms of what you're meant to set this to, a lot of videos say things like, set it to your max number of cores. I've seen some people say, set it to half your cores. So I decided to ignore all the videos I was watching and actually run some benchmarks on this. So to do this, I used an application called Cap Frame X. This is a free tool that I would recommend you guys use if you're testing settings. Press a button, it will record your average frame rate. So I did my testing from render work account one all the way up to render work account eight. So basically the lowest amount of cores possible to the highest amount of cores possible. Uh, and then every time I set this setting up, I would go into Warzone and Plunder. I drop into the same area and I do a 30 second run and try and keep it as uh, equal every time I was doing it. There is a certain level of error to understand here, but I still got pretty definitive results. So let's take a look at those. So here is a chart of all of the render work accounts tested, and we've got the average FPS over the 30 seconds I was recording, as well as the 1% lows. This is basically the lowest FPS we were on average hitting throughout the test. Now, I've ordered these in terms of the uh, the average FPS. And as we go up through the to the top, we have two pretty even options, and that was a renderer work account of four and a renderer work account of five. I would recommend here that render a work account of four was the best for me because the difference between the average FPSs was 0.1 FPS. That could all come under error, but I was gaining about just under three FPS on those 1%, so I was definitely stuttering a lot less. And if you compare it to all of the other renderer work accounts other than four and five, the results in terms of the 1% are definitely better overall. However, I'm not recommending your renderer work account to be set to four. That's just what worked for me. What I'm actually saying is set it to half your cores, which I've seen other videos suggest, but none of them gave the benchmarks to support it. So there was no real reason to trust it. So just as a reminder, I have eight cores. And so I want to set my renderer work account in here to half my cores, which is four. You guys need to go into your task manager, check your cores, set renderer work account to half that amount, and you'll be good to go. So next in here, let me talk about video memory scale. And I've got some bad news for you guys on this one because I would recommend that you just leave this at whatever it is. What a lot of people don't know is that the video memory scale will not be set by default to the same value for everyone. It's dependent on your hardware. And in general, the game is gonna get this right and get it set correctly. I've seen people in here say, oh, set this to one because by doing it at 0.85, I'm only using 85% of my VRAM when I want to use all my VRAM. Well, no, you don't want to use all your VRAM. In general, you don't want to use up all the resource in your system at any one point for one game at all because it will actually cause more stuttering 
um, even if it may give you some higher average FPS, the stuttering will be will be crazy. I've seen other people recommend uh, turning this down to things like 0.55, and if that's the case, that turning this down from 0.85 to 0.55 helps, I would go and look at other processes running while Warzone's running and check that there's not something using up that VRAM or using up any of your processing power, because my recommendation for this, as I've said, is leave it at default. It's setting it correctly and it shouldn't need changing. And then lastly in here, we have version and we've got config cloud storage enabled. Very simply, do not change these. There is nothing to be gained from these. Um, I'm pretty sure it will set these both back to one by default anyway. Uh, and if it doesn't, it's more likely to cause problems than help at all. So just leave them as default. Anyway, guys, that is all I've got to cover today. A very quick one. I just want to get those benchmarks out for you guys because you can get some genuinely good performance increases by changing your renderer work account to half your cores, but then just leave everything else as default. That is the best setup. If you're still looking to gain more FPS, I've got a settings video that I release every time a patch comes out for Warzone, especially for the new season. So go check those out. Um, there'll probably be something similar to this in Modern Warfare and also Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. So I'll be covering similar things for that in the future. And if you do want to see those, then subscribe and leave a like on this video to let me see all of your guys' support. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.